Hello everyone, this is The Hole, and we're here in Pinellas County for the Flag Down Conference, and this is the brunch, and we have a whole lot of SPs feasting on fine food and lemonade, and they're all going to introduce themselves to you, and I think, who's, and uh, Pete is going to probably introduce each one. No. No, Pete is not going to be introducing each one, so, um, <laughs> bye. Hi, I'm Pete Griffiths, and I'm here at the SP Brunch at Flagdown 2014. I'm having a great old time here. We're about halfway through the conference right now, and I want to just share very quickly something that I'm taking from this conference. We all know that Scientology is, um, well, where do we go? We all know what Scientology is, let's put it that way. But what's affected me more than anything about this conference is the effect that it's had on children. And I'm thinking specifically of what John Diagnan spoke about last night and the stories that he told. Um, it's heartbreaking stuff. And a guy who phoned into the radio station the other morning whose parents were both doctors and he was sent to the Mace Kingsley Ranch. And at 12 years old, this guy was digging ditches and fed slops. And they paid, the, you know, they paid for the privilege of this. So I'm taking that from this conference, the effect that this Scientology criminal racket has on children. It breaks my heart. And this is why enough is enough. Flag has to go down. Okay. What's your good. name? Location. <laughs> Location right now is Florida. So it's good to be here among good people. No indies, no drama, no bitchcraft. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> good afternoon everybody, this is this is moi um, and I'm with all these SPs and I suppose for me this is a number of things. It's um, it's reclaiming Florida for me um, because Scientology certainly fucked up Florida for me big time and it's reclaiming, funnily enough, St. Petersburg itself uh, because we went up to Fort Harris and drank a couple of beers and goggled all the RTC reps walking by. Um, so a bit more of that. It's a wonderful, fun, fantastic little occasion. Um, but also the, the, the serious end of it is, again, what I was talking about last night. Um, this, this stuff is very, very, very pertinent. It's, it's, it's the wreckage of Scientology leaves behind, the human wreckage. Um, and I think if, any, if I can get anything across at all from this, it is that Scientology is an evil abomination and it needs to go down, it needs to go down in my fucking lifetime. So, thank you. So I was asked if I wanted to talk. I'm not sure about what, but I'll just explain how I kind of got involved um, with protesting and why I'm here. Um, <laughs> Why I'm here at uh, What's your name? Flag Down. Um, my name is Father Tony um, on the intertubes. Um, Location. I am from Florida, and that's all I will give to you, Osa. Um, so I. Primary ra rating location. Is uh, <laughs> my primary rating location is in Clearwater uh, for right now. Uh, I may branch out. I haven't decided yet. Um, so I kind of became involved with Scientology in a or protesting against Scientology in a roundabout way um, I grew up and I knew nothing of Scientology um, you know the state that I came from had one mission and that was it um, but I found on YouTube the whole incident with John Sweeney and Tommy Davis and so that kind of led me to do some some research on Scientology, which led to Lisa McPherson, which led to Xenu, which led to a uh, whole bunch of rabbit hole. Like you went down the rabbit hole. I did. I, I dove headfirst into the rabbit hole. Um, and then after I went to bed at 2 o'clock that morning, I woke up the next day and decided I had to do something about it. And that's when I read about Anonymous and Project Chronology and said, okay, well, I started protesting at the, the mission uh, in my state, trying to educate the local people about what Scientology is, how they, the abuses and what they've done, um, just so that people are aware. You know, I've always been of the philosophy that 
if you you need to be educated about something. And if I educate you about something and you decide to do it, that's your choice. I have no problem with I have no problem with people choosing to believe what they want to believe, but make an educated choice about it. Um, learn about the, you know. I come from a I come from a, a, a Christian background, a Protestant background. I've had my doubts. I've talked about it. I have, you know, and learned about it. And I, you know, at any time, my my minister never said, "Don't you question it? You take this as fact. Don't even think about questioning the Bible." And to me, that that's one of the things that just frustrates me about Scientology is the fact that that people can't question it. Um, they have to take it at face value, and they if they do question it then they get in trouble, and that's wrong. Um, so that's kind of my story. Um, you know, I'm always wishing that people can get educated. Um, do I believe Elrond was a shyster and a con artist? Hell yeah. Um, do I believe that the tech works? Hell no. But as long as people aren't forcing, being forced to give money and can do it of their own free will and aren't being seg-checked because they're questioning it, I have no problem with people doing it. Um, you enjoying Flag Down? I am very much enjoying Flag Down. I met a lot of nice people. Um, you met John Sweeney? I did meet John Sweeney himself. He signed a copy of his book and gave it to me, so I was all super duper excited about that. Whoa! And you got to meet I got to meet Pete Griffiths. Like I said, you know, we all have our lumps. You know, I had to meet him. But, you know, He's a ass, isn't he? Oh, he is. He's, you know, he, he did this single-handedly all by himself with no help at all from That's anybody. Right. Yeah. So, you know. He knows too much. Yes, he's, he's, he's quite the cheeky bastard. Um, <laughs> but I've talked way too long, and there's probably not enough left on this. Uh, yeah, we gave you two minutes. You've taken six. <laughs> I know. They cut out five minutes ago. Yeah, it stopped recording. <laughs> Specifically, why are you here? Where, where are you? Then? Yeah. Hmm. Well... I'm kind of here because this is a, it's a watershed moment in terms of bringing attention to the abuses of Scientology. And I was abused by Scientology, my friends were abused by Scientology, and I'm trying to do something about it, and this was the place to do more about it. Um, you know, I've had to think a lot about Scientology over the years and how it affected me. I've tried to share my story and whatever insights I've been able to come up with. And that just continues to grow. And I, and I try not to be a fanatic about it, but I am insistent about that Scientology has to go away. 